morning and welcome back to Vlogmas. Cashew's very hyper this morning. She's got a, her, her hot chocolate. <laughs> so we all kind of slept in. Yesterday was Matt's family's um, Christmas party, which I didn't vlog, um, but we will be vlogging my uh, family Christmas party, so you guys can stay tuned for that. I'm just drinking, I hate how it's on this side. This little puppy mug, so cute, oh my god. Uh, I'm just having some herbal coffee. My glasses are so dirty, I don't know if you can tell. Um, but yeah, we slept in, it's like 9.30 right now, not gonna lie. I just chatted with my mom and Chloe just to figure out what the plans are for today. And oh, in my co uh, coffee to or cup of coffee today, I put some cinnamon and steve like liquid stevia, and it was pretty good. Like I'm really enjoying it. And then I put some oat milk creamer. What are we doing today? I think we're gonna go take cashew for a hike. It's really nice and sunny out, and I think later we're gonna make some Portuguese treats. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna make these like lemon almond cookies and some rosoge, which are basically Portuguese progies. They're so good. It's a process, you need a couple people. So I think my mom's gonna come over, Chloe's gonna come over, maybe my aunt and my cousin, we'll see. Everyone's just kind of like, you know, trying to get everything, all the last minute stuff done before Christmas. So that's the plan, but I'm gonna like get out of these PJs. Let's go make the bed and get ready. Look, first we're gonna do the hike because I just wanna get outside and it'll get Cashew some exercise. Okay, wanna go make the bed? Yeah, okay. Let's go. gonna miss our little Christmas bed. Can we just keep it up for the month of January? Mm, till January. <laughs> so cute. I'm gonna go take a shower, freshen up, get changed for our hike. Oh my god, every day I'm reminded when I vlog. Matt says he's gonna help me attack that this weekend. Right Matt? The laundry? Yeah, he says he'll help me with the laundry, otherwise it's not gonna get done, which is probably right. I don't know why this whole like month has been just me not doing my laundry. I don't know how, well, I'm wearing Matt's sweater today. That's because I have no clothes. All my pajamas are dirty, except these ones, but, and they're not even Christmassy, so that explains a lot. It's just been a busy month. I don't have time for laundry, okay? So yeah, Matt's gonna help me tackle that later today. Oh my God, my arm's so sore. I did back-to-back -back gym sessions. Super proud of myself. Starting off the end of the year right, so I'm on track for January. But yeah, I'm definitely feeling it. I did upper body yesterday. Woo! Feeling sore. Okay, I'm gonna go shower, change, get ready so I don't look like a turd, like my hair. Here's my outfit of the day today. This sweater, so warm. I can't even, I've just been wearing it the last three days. I love it. And I'm also wearing avocado socks, obviously fashion goals right here. Right, Matt? Goals. <laughs> Matt's wearing his roots uh, combo here. Looking, looking trendy. Cashew? Hey, honey. Let's go. She's like, I'm ready for the park. We're actually going for a hike, but you know. We were going to put on her Canada pooch jacket, but it's actually plus one today, so I think she'll be too hot. Excuse me, girl. Oh, so nice out. It's plus one. Although the snow is really packed, so it feels a little slippery. Matt sees dogs though behind us, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to let Cashew off leash. This is just like my favorite thing to do, is to be in a forest, especially when it's not freezing out, which is good, because I totally forgot my gloves. So did Matt. Oh, isn't this the best? Oh, did they? Isn't this so nice? It is nice, yeah. Actually, it's really nice. 
good day. I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad we both had. Literally cold the last few days. Oh yeah, it's felt like minus 30. Wait. Okay. Okay, this is the break. Huh? So we're both playing hide and go seek with Cashew. Kaka! <laughs> she found you. Cashew has the biggest stick right now. <laughs> <laughs> we are back from our hike i'm dressed and ready for the day i'm probably gonna make myself a quick little lunch and then chloe's gonna come and we're gonna do some groceries uh grocery shopping for what we need all the supplies that we need for the portuguese cooking tonight also, I just want to say, if you guys are like me and you, you're feeling like everything, all the moisture is being sucked out of your skin and your life from all the heat during the winter time, you guys seriously need, I just want to give this some love, a humidifier. This has changed my life. Look at that smoke. It's so calming, but also effective and much needed for the colder months. So this guy here just adds so much moisture into the air and it's been really helping my dry skin. Ugh, my hand already feels hydrated. So I will link this down below and honestly it helps so much with dry skin and just feeling like you're not drying up like a brazen. Now before I have lunch, I'm gonna have a little snack. These are the muffins actually made with Kim, but I made some more for Matt's family Christmas party uh, yesterday and honestly, how cute are they? I found these at Dollarama, these little tree guys so cute so i'm gonna have a little snack right now before lunch and these i did with cranberries this is the um muffin recipe from the health nut cookbook and oh my god it's so good the coconut butter glaze on this is out of this world so good mm. Mm. the cranberry is like a bit tart So good. Okay, so I have something very exciting to chat with you guys about. So let me get comfy here. January 18th, we're doing our first ever Health Nut Wellness Retreat. We're partnering with Y Yoga. We're doing a yoga and meditation session, a little mingle with uh, snacks and drinks. I'll sign your cookbook, which you will you will get. I can't talk. I will sign your cookbook, which you'll get when you purchase a ticket. So it's included in the price. Now I wanted to tell you guys about this as soon as I had all the details because there are limited tickets. So if you are interested, you can check the link down below for all the event details. And also to the first, I think it's the first 10 people who sign up will also receive a free three class pack for Y Yoga to use at any of their locations. And honestly, I love Y Yoga. They have the nicest, like just very relaxing studios and they're kind of scattered throughout the city. I used to go to one all the time on Queens Key when I lived right on the waterfront. And now I just go anytime I'm in the city. I just love to pop in. The space is beautiful. I've been there for events as well and I'm so excited to be partnering with them for this first Health Nut Wellness Retreat. So um, I don't know if I mentioned yet, but you will get a copy of the Health Nut Cookbook with the purchase of your ticket, which I will happily sign. And we can just hang out, chat, get to know each other and it's gonna be a really fun time so all the details will be linked down below for you guys to check out 
grab your tickets this is a great last minute gift idea for a friend for your partner if you want to just do an experience as opposed to an actual gift this is just a fun way to get together have a fun meditation and yoga session especially if you've never done any meditations before this is a great way to get into it for the new year so it's obviously something that has changed my life so much and i just want it to be a part of your life as well for you guys to at least try it you know i think if you try it you might fall in love with it too so details down below just want to pop in and say that um but i'm gonna go have some lunch now and then chloe's gonna get here we're gonna go grocery shopping make some delicious portuguese treats and it's gonna be a fun day so anyways that is my spiel i love that you can see the twinkly lights on it's so cute okay see you soon just got to the grocery store and oh, look at me i even remembered my reusable shopping bag so we're gonna get our supplies for restoige might even make grass soup which is cald beard but we call it grass soup right Chloe? chloe's white jacket show them the stain i think that's from mom's car because i didn't get that when i was in there. that sucks when is this your first time wearing the jacket mm, a couple times oh man note to self never buy a white jacket it's cute though yeah <laughs> all right let's go here <laughs> Mom, this is not health nuts. It's lightly salted though. <laughs> so many, it's like Costco all over again. Okay, we're gonna get some collard greens for the soup. What else is in that soup? Potatoes, onion. garlic, onion, bay leaf. Oh, yeah, bay leaf. Is that it? Yeah. Oh. Is there like an epidemic happening of vanilla bean? We'll stock up. These are Cashew's favorite sardines and spring water. Our little Portuguese puppy. You say that every time. I know. Our little Portuguese puppy. <laughs> the ingredient list on this is so crazy. Comment down below if you want me to healthify these recipes. Chloe doesn't want me to change it for today, but I feel like just a little bit of a tweaking and it would still taste really good. all of our like family Portuguese recipes on an Excel doc because every time my grandma's here we're always bless you Matt every time my grandma's here we always pick her brain and we just needed to get it like the actual hard copy recipe down so we're we're gonna first we're gonna make the filling for the rustoge and it's a shrimp filling you can do like different variations because what is there shrimp there's tuna tuna which I don't love the tuna Wait. ones yeah, if you oh. don't go to all that work, I might have to do the shrimp. <laughs> do the shrimp. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna double the filling because usually we have to do that anyways for the amount of dough that we make. And it, like I said, it's kind of like pierogies, but Portuguese style. And then they're dipped in breadcrumbs before we fry them. So let's, do you wanna just break that up, mom? I'll get a cutting board. So we'll get all the ingredients. Parsley. So 
changed my shirt because the other sweater was too hot and bulky. And look at this little apron that Chloe got me from Portugal. It says Health Net Nutrition. Cashew, it's not for you. So I'm gonna wear that. I haven't had milk in a glass probably for like 10 years. Oh wow, that's good. Do you know how, there is 12 grams of sugar per cup. Oh. You have to do, you have to cut to her doing it. Yeah. How does she do that? Try, try one more time. Oh, she cuts in? No, you go in like this. Oh, uh, like, no, no, you're no, doing no, it wrong. No. You're cutting it so thick. Cutting, no, 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 no. <laughs> you cut little slivers in yeah. and then. Like that? Yeah, and then after you go in, so it. This doesn't look like it at all. We got Tia Chris helping put that muscle into it. So that's the dough. I'm making the Calvert, and then we have the shrimp filling that I'm just gonna add in the rest of the stuff. This guy is a pain in the butt. You really just have to keep working it. Well, I've never yes. seen Chloe work out so hard. Okay, maybe this is for your Yeah, okay. <laughs> you got it, you got it. So we're gonna do a taste test. This is a finished product. Another another tip when you're frying, make sure you don't fry too many at once. Oh, before the rice? Mm. Also put a cork in it. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. They're definitely soft inside. Soup is delicious. We've uh, tagged in these two. <laughs> yep. It's it's like a like a team that you need for these. Yeah. And then we have these over here. They're all ready. They're getting another station up over there. And I'm just enjoying the soup, which is so easy to make. I have a recipe for this I did with my grandma. I will link it down below. It's like the easiest soup, but it's so good. Mm -hmm. 
So all of the rissoyes are packed up and ready to fry up for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Woo! That was a mission. We had full intention on actually frying them up tonight, but or like some of them so we can eat them, but that's not happening. Sorry, Matt. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to have one, but I already had like two bowls of soup and I'm just like hot and sweaty and it was just like a lot of work. Tia, Chris, and Caitlin just left. They had to do a late, late night run to Walmart. But yeah, we got them done. We got the cookies done, we got the soup done, we got the rissoyage done. So it's all good and basically, as you guys saw, Chloe's just like wrapping them all up so we can freeze them. I guess we don't even have to freeze them. They're gonna go in the fridge so that way on uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, we'll fry them up fresh in the morning. Basically, you just like dip them in egg, flour, breadcrumbs. So I'll probably show that on Christmas Day since I'm doing a what I eat in a day. And yeah, I'm just so excited. They're so good and they're totally worth the effort. So if you're Portuguese, you know how good they are, but if you're not, you should totally make them or try to pick them up at a Portuguese bakery because just save yourself the effort. No, homemade is the best, but like it's, it is more work, so. Uh, question of the day today, what is a traditional dish in your family or that you grew up eating that you always crave around the holidays leave a comment down below and also if you aren't already subscribed make sure to do so it's free click the button down below subscribe if you haven't sorry i pressed something if you aren't caught up on all the vlogmases there's a playlist also linked down below you guys can check them all out in total there's going to be like 19 from this month which is kind of crazy I'm gonna put some comfy clothes on, get out of these jeans. Cash is already passed out. So I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Cry face, there's only one more left, which is so crazy, but I'm also really excited for like a week off before the new year. So thank you, we love you, Merry Christmas, happy vlogmas. We'll see you guys tomorrow.